baby. I'm low riding. Like this, baby Kim. I'm Just take riding. a seat back. Skr, skr. Rurk. 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 Welcome back. It is training at 7. Yeah, when the cops stop you. Uh, you don't stop you? No, it goes. It goes. It goes boop, boop. I know, that's a, I don't know what, that's a Mazda 3, that one. Anyway, <laughs> it's still Training SA on SABC3 and, of course, TrainingSA.tv on the interwebs. Thank you so much for all your love on Facebook and Instagram. Keep tagging us. It is hashtag Tsa on 3. It is now time for our Woman Crush Wednesday, and our guest tonight is one of South Africa's most respected and seasoned radio and television personalities. Recently, she took over the daily show that is Real Talk on SABC3, and her journey into the industry began, yeah. Many, many years ago, when she got a major gig on a youth talk show that was called The Joint. Fitting for 2018, right? The, what is it? The joint. Called? Okay. It's legal. Oh, oh, you're talking about Dagger again. No, yeah, leave that for now. And of course, that was one of the SABC channels that was called CCV TV. Do you where remember? Wait, you? Where were you? I don't think I was even I think born. I was in my. <laughs> 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 then, fast forward a few years later, she is back and doing the greatest of things, making waves in the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Azania Mosaka. <laughs> We love it. We love no, it. No, you make me sound so old. No, you're not. I mean, you're not. Experience. I think it's better that I say things like CCVTV and then you come out and look the way that you, you know. Because, because people are like. CCVTV. Yeah. How's that? No. Wow. I don't wow. know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Right, so let's get into it. We don't have a lot of time. I want to start off with this weird thing I've been seeing on your socials, right? I'm seeing you take hikes. I'm seeing you jump off of uh, bridges and all sorts of things and all this adventurous stuff, yes, right? Are you yes. very outdoorsy very lately? Um, I am outdoorsy. I've always been outdoorsy, but I just kind of uh, left it for a while. Mm. You know, I did the whole marriage thing with children. And having children almost makes you feel a little bit more scared. When mm. I was younger, mm. I used to... Swim in tanks with sharks and stingrays sure. and uh, went across the continent and yeah, so I've just rediscovered that. All right, I want to see this bungee jump thing that you do, oh, right? Okay. So that everyone at home is not missing out on all this fun because we know dust is expensive. So let's have a look. What's going on in your head when this is happening? I was so scared. You don't look it because <laughs> there was no turning back. I, I keep it inside really well. Look at you. Really, going. really well. All right. I know. Like and a then, oh. <laughs> I still kind of get a rush out of that. That is the highest bungee uh, bridge mm. in the world. Mm. Wow. 260 wow. meters. Did they push you or did you just jump? No, you just jumped. There's no pushing. Wow. A couple of people did turn back, but I'm proud that I did. That's, that's a that bit intense. Amazing. Yeah. That's a bit intense. Oh, so, on top of like the shark things and the stingray things and the bungee jumping things, I hear you want to fly planes. Tell us more about that. Yeah, it was a childhood ambition. I always thought I would be a pilot or an Ooh, economist. Good. Yeah. Mm, do it. Yeah. Mm. So then after two, and then it was too expensive back then. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't afford it. Mm. But now, you know, girls making. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of. Girls money. with aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't think I'm learning about spice in and then. As you you recently took over a real talk on three. Well Is done. Three Congrat it it was, it was a couple of months. <laughs> a couple of months ago. Congratulations on that. How did you get, the, how did you land the job? I had stood in, I was helping out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, Anil was uh, going on holiday, okay. and then they were like, we need someone, we can't have pre-records, yeah. we can't replay old shows. Mm. And then I was like, they asked, I said, okay, and I hadn't done TV in a while. Mm. But I mean, you, you'd done it before, so it was like riding a bicycle, you, it was sleep seamless, wasn't it? You went what, back into TV? No? no? Going back? No? Mm. No, it wasn't that seamless. Mm. I'd forgotten about so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then my angel I read Did recently it? that Yava Ilanduza E3 talk. Do you know about it? How do you feel about it? E3 talk. And guess who's no, guess who's person from <laughs> Real Talk. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. you. <laughs> How did you feel this? Because when I was there, we were praying. I, uh, we were praying. You what? were one saying, Oh, I hope none yes. of our shows come to an end. Yes. yes. Well, I was there for the duration of the end of the season. I was okay. there to help okay. them to finish the season because Anle left in the middle of the season. Oh, so you knew? Well, for me, it was always about a contract till the end of October. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So, but there is a team, of course, to worry about. Young yeah. people mm, who made yeah. their plans mm. around their jobs, around uh, working there for another year. Mm. But, yeah, I guess you'd have to call the SABC's spokesperson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't ask me for a statement. <laughs> a <Your> comment. <laughs> Naza, your other love is radio. Yes. Oh. You are on yes. 702. You host the Azania Masaka show. Yes. You've been on radio for so long. 
Yeah. For, for quite some time. <laughs> Let me not say for so long. For quite some time. Yes. Which means that you love it. What's keeping mm. you there? Ah, every day is every day is different. Every single day is it's different. You're gonna feel different. Different things are gonna happen. You're gonna speak to different people. Different callers. So it just keeps it thrilling in that way. As yeah. routine as it is, that it's at the same time. You know, there's certain things that are the same yeah. about it, but there's also a lot that's very different mm. about it. Mm. So there's no hurry up and wait. The gratification is right now. Mm. It's dynamic in that yes. way. Mm. So, yeah, when you're not there, you miss it. Mm. You know, that mm. standing. It's so great you're not weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great you're not weird that, you know, you get no more commercial radio like the metros of the world. Yeah, where well, you can literally. You can play 20 and, minutes of yeah. song and oh. then you can come yeah. on versus yeah. you. You're just sitting there with five liters of water having to gulp because you're speaking <laughs> so much. What's, mm. what, what's, what's the difference been like moving from that full-on music to more speak or I talk? was initially really freaked out about that. I thought, yeah. how am I going to fill all that time with talking? Yeah. And I thought, what if, I, what if, what if, what if? But you, you, you just do it. You you just end up and then they, they, they dry days. They dry days where people are just looking at their phones and thinking, I'm not dialing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what do you do then? You just have to keep going. You just mm. have to keep going. I mean, you talk about topical stuff. You talk about what's happening in the zeitgeist. You talk mm. about yes. this, you talk about yes. that. Yes. Have you been following this Omatosa trial? Yes, I have. What is your take on it? Uh, I think we need a re-evaluation of how we deal with rape survivors mm. in this mm. country. Um, because now the burden of proof, and even with our legal system, of course it's about innocent till proven guilty, right. mm. you know. But ultimately it feels like the victim has been, is being put on trial right. mm. versus yeah. the perpetrator right. or the alleged perpetrator in this case. Mm. And it's also quite similar to what we saw with former President Jacob Zuma's uh, victim's rape trial. You know, you have people singing outside. There's all that intimidation. And we also saw Kemp J. Kemp also conducting himself in a very, uh, I call it vile, what mm. Peter Doberman is doing, in my opinion, is very vile. Mm. Um, so we do need uh, a reevaluation, a reflection, mm. a moment to look at how this young woman has been treated Absolutely. in court. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, in the mix and of she's all, not alone, by the way. It's yeah. Only when we get to see this. Mm. Correct. Mm. Mm. Now you're not alone in this world. You have a whole human being. I am. They all. That they're you, all you, beings. That you. You. You have human this one specific one. I'm going to talk right. about. Who is, is there? Ah, my babies. Okay, so let's talk about the one in the middle. Or is it, is it, which one is it? Because you guys look so alike. I don't know who's who in that picture. She's also in the entertainment world, uh, fresh and new. And as a mom, you always want to protect her because that's what mommies do. So how have you had to deal with protecting your child, your baby, the one you went to go fetch at the hospital from the negative entertainment industry and all the nonsense that comes with it? Uh, you know, I was very, it's been quite a journey. Mm. Uh, because she was a victim of cyber, oh, what, what do they call it? Cyber, cyber bullying. bullying, cyber yeah. bullying yeah. Mm. On social media. And this was before the TV career, by the way. So mm. we had this massive baptismal of fire, mm. you know, before the TV Welcome. stuff. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, I'm fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I couldn't sit back and I got quite involved and um, there was no way I was going to sit back. But that, at the same time, the lesson was that you can't protect them. Mm. You can't protect them from what the world is going to deal them. What mm. you can do, though, is support and love them and hopefully give them the kind of upbringing that will allow them to be able to stand on their own two mm. feet, yeah. you know. And they're also here to have their own journey. Yeah. I think that's the one thing that's released me a lot. I'm having a completely different journey to what my parents would have wanted for me, mm. you know. And I've gone through things that they would have wanted to protect me from, like divorce, mm. you know, um, and other life tragedies. But ultimately, they're, there, they're here to do their own thing. So what's your gig in this life? Are you gigging it right? Mm. Okay, so you lose the gig. Let's help you get back on your feet. Mm. That's that's really, I think, fundamentally my realization after all of that. No, well, see, ultimately they're here to do their own thing. You yes. do your own thing in the style department, like your style is impeccable. Where's the gig? As in, every I was looking at the whole yeah. thing. I was like, yeah. wow, that's cool. you are that one, and that's, <laughs> that's made you a fashion icon. In the, well, we look at you, we see a fashion icon. You're not yeah, so when I get that. dressed in the morning, that's not what I'm thinking. And then yeah. you look at the two style awards, I'm like, maybe there is I something. Mean, here, you know? Yeah. You know, and you're Two, great. Nana. Two. Damn it. Mm, I've only one. How? Yes. Yes. I'm team. chasing you on a number of scores, so at least you're doing some chasing too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're a great champion for local brands. Yes. 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 Which, which designers are your favorite? Um, okay, I... 
have a long history with David Lale. Mm. Long, long history. I mean, when he was starting out, I was starting out, and he was that person that would dress me when mm. I needed him to, and he still does. Mm. So there's a great friendship and support of each other. Mm. Um, Tula Cindy also came along, and I just no. love his aesthetic and how he thinks of the woman, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then lately, Orapeleng. Yeah. Orapeleng. I'm just so crushing on him. Like, I want everything. Mm. I want everything. He's amazing. Talking about crushing on people and wanting everything, um, you promised me some makeup. Miss Salon, you're an entrepreneur. Tell us about that journey, Lala, and where's my <laughs> pangpa? <laughs> It's coming. It's coming. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. So we've got a, uh, I don't, I'm not going to call it a chain, but we've got three boutique nail salons. Nice. And we do a couple of things and they would do nails. Wow. We relax. Wow. And wow. <laughs> Where <laughs> do you find each other? We do nails. We run a business. We manage Ooh. human beings and customers. Mm. Oh. And then we've got another partner uh, that who's not in there. Mm. who developed the makeup actually six years is how long she's been formulating it. Um, oh and she's based in Washington. Oh, Lord. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, it was someone working on it and then she just left it. It just sat there until one day her sister, one of our business partners said, whatever happened to that thing? Come, come, take yeah. it out, let's see. Yeah. You know, that dust it that. off and that nice. was that. So wow. now we're, we're, we're in eight Woolworths um, in the beauty halls. We've got foundations. Uh, we've got it sounds like you have a bread, whole lashes, makeup range. lip balms. No, I mean we don't have eyeliner, we don't have mascara, we don't have pencils. Not yet. But it's all about this. Yes, oh, we pride ourselves on I color matching. No, we pride mm. ourselves on the perfect. Well, listen, matching. we were very happy that you joined yeah. us this evening Thank or you for tonight the because we really had fun. We could talk for hours yeah. sitting here, looking back, looking forward, and looking at the present. But we're very happy that you joined us today. So, big round of applause for Zanya, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now we're going for a quick ad break. When we come back, what's up on WhatsApp, yo? You're not ready for the day.